Now I've seen every damn thing. They done put Goku in DNF Duel. Let's check these buttons. Couldn't look away from the train wreck. He can blame it on the tank or the disrespect. We play better button check. Button check. What is up, Bud Check family? Thank you guys for tuning in once again. It is Saturday. The weekend is here. We done made it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all know the drill, baby. We got... We got this. I have no idea what I was about to say. I went blank. We got chapters down below is what I was trying to say. If you guys want to skip around to a certain subject, because we got hot clips. The hot clips are back. What I think I'm going to start doing is making sure the hot clips are here for the weekends. And then through the weekday, it'll be as usual. Kind of just mix up the flavor. So go ahead and check it out. We're going to put it in the hot clips and then get started with all the FGC hot topics. Ladies and gents, let's go. Is this an infinite? Is this a no fucking way? Is this an infinite? Was that an infinite? That was a fucking infinite? Hey, boo boo, I'll show him what I taught you. Put the shield on. You got it, it's a back and X. It's a backwards and X. And then press triangle. Keep doing it. Yeah, hi. Uh. All right, now into them first set of scamming ass buttons that need to be checked. This one pops off, I guess, in the world of not only Twitch streamers, but VTubers. Okay, so this one starts off with a VTuber, I believe by the name of Daff, at Daff underscore VT. Link in the description field, definitely check her out. Posting this the other day saying, PayPal balance negative 11,766 and 98 cents. That, I mean, I would die. Then another VTuber, I believe by the name of Melly, also link in the description field, check her out, post this, $7,008.50 negative. Also PayPal balance. So I'm seeing these amounts and I'm like, what the hell is really going on? Well, apparently it's a new scam. On top of that, it's not technically new because it's been around for a while. I'm just actually learning about it now. So Melly posted this kind of breaking it down saying, what a way to wake up. This is my first chargeback case. I'm legit freaking out right now. If anyone has any tips or anything I can do, please let me know. I am down negative 8,000. Beware of the viewer, Don underscore cramp is 69. So apparently what's going on because the um, DAF also posted, I believe, the same individual. They're like, yo, this dude, or whoever I should say, the hell is Don underscore crap is, is going around and what they're doing is making donations, right? Clicking on the donation, making that donation, letting that shit chill for a little while. That way maybe the viewer or whoever they're donating it to, I'm sorry, the content creator will spend it or something like that, maybe move that money around and then claim a chargeback through PayPal. Basically either telling PayPal they paid them erroneously or they did it on accident. I guess, you know, requesting a refund, PayPal will then grant them the refund, which is fucking insane to me. Like how, how is it that easy just to get a refund like that? Most places you gotta pull arm and a leg and it takes like months and all this other shit. But apparently in this case with PayPal, it's easy peasy. You can request a chargeback they give it to you, then all of a sudden you'll be negative. Like the content creator will show that money, all that money taken away. God forbid they spent that money, now they're in the hole. On top of that, I think there's like chargeback fees that the content creator is responsible for. It's a bunch of shit and they're the ones 
that have to prove their case. Like matter of fact, I think Daff, let me get over there, right there. Yeah, posted this saying, good news. Some of the cases are ruled in my favor. I got like 25 to go. 25 cases, holy shit. We'll pull out a twit longer about, about Krampus soon. Shit. There's also like people like uh, like a Doki Bird right here posting like here's the thread on how to fight Twitch donation chargebacks. I will post a good link down below if you're experiencing this as well, or God forbid ever experience this in the future because this is some shady shit. I've also seen the one uh, where a scam recently and we're reading about this where people will randomly donate some money to you or give you money through PayPal, right? And then they'll say, oh my bad, I gave it to you on accident. Can you, you mind giving me the money back? And then I would imagine, depending on how much money it is and what kind of person you may be at the time, you know what I'm saying? You might actually say, yeah, it's fair, that's fair. Here's your money, you know, have a nice day. But then the person says, hold up, before you give it back, there's actually refund charges on my side. So if you can just give it back through friends and family, that helped me out. Then you're like, okay, cool, because I'm not losing no money through friends and family. So you send it back friends and family. Then they get their money back. On top of that, they call PayPal then and say, yo, I gave this person a thousand dollars. Let's say it's a thousand in this case. Please, it was, it was a mistake, give it back. PayPal will then refund them the thousand dollars because I guess there's no trace from it being a return. It wasn't labeled return. It was labeled through friends and family. So therefore it's not really tracked like that. Now they're up two G's. I'm not sure if the other person is, is striked in any way, but I know that pretty much they're up two G's. It's just a lot of shit. Like I knew there was like trolls and stuff like that, but to see people down this much just for chargebacks, you know what I'm saying? Just for, for people wanting to troll them and fuck up their accounts. This is some evil ass shit. So let me know what you think about this, man. Have you guys ever experienced this? Hopefully not, man. But hopefully this actually just teaches us all to be a little more careful, especially when it comes to donations, people we don't know, and PayPal. All right, now into them. You have the right to remain silent buttons that need to be checked. What the hell is really going on today? All right, so this one happened just last weekend at CEO. I don't necessarily think it happened at CEO, like not during the actual tournament, but he was there attending CEO. We'll break it down right now. So I wanna thank everybody who tagged me in this story as well. Thank everybody who tagged me in all today's stories. So I appreciate you guys, man, much love. Okay, so here we go. Mario Sanchez, AKA Inaweeds. Is that, am I pronouncing that right? Here was a picture. Apparently he was, I think he was in top eight of CBS2. There's a picture of him playing Jabali right here. So obviously at CEO. And I think this video in particular was uh, uploaded on the 27th, which was this Monday that just passed. But CEO took place on the 24th through the 26th. So it ended on that Sunday, right? So basically CEO ended on that Sunday, which would have been the 26th. Now, if you look at the date right here of when Mario Sanchez was actually arrested, it shows right here, he was arrested June 27th. So that's that Monday, the day after CEO ended. So I'm assuming he was still at the venue or still in Florida. Because apparently what happened is somehow, some way, I guess the authorities lured him in or traced him or somehow, you know, pretending to be either like a 14 or 12 year old boy, something like that, was able to like fake or set up a meetup and arrested him. That's the word on the street right now. If you look at the arrest report right here, it says Mario Sanchez, you can see all this stuff right here, um, in Florida, so I'm assuming he was still around CEO somehow. Of course, it was over by then, but you know, probably still at the hotel or something. So anyway, let's get to the, let's get to the main topic right here. So he was arrested the next day. Sex battery victim, 12 year old. A 12 year old suspect. Looks like there's no bond right now. Use computer su to seduce or solicit slash lure a child. Use two-way communication device to commit a felony. Damn. Right now, obviously, there's no bond for this shit. Um, this is the dude. I've seen no reports from CEO or anything like that to say that he's banned at this time. Usually when something like this happens, you know, once it gets out, everybody starts saying ban, 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 you know, stuff like that. But it's so new. Even yesterday when I saw it, I the person that tagged me literally had no comments, no likes, no retweets, not zero. So I don't really think people know at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if Jabali from CEO had any, had any idea at this point as well. So this is just fucking crazy to me. Just thank God that the cops were able to nail this dude. 
uh, lure him, set him up, you know, when he's using what, his computer or his two-way device, you know, trying to lure a child. This shit is wild, man. There's literally zero fucking place for people like this, not only in the FGC, just in society. Like, I don't even know Mario Sanchez. I never met him, never seen him play. I didn't even know he was that CEO until all this happened. I was like, damn, this is some wild ass shit. Definitely, you do some shit like this, man, you just gotta get got. Ah, oh, this is just, uh, this is crazy shit, man. First you got people getting scammed. Then you got this guy right here trying to solicit or, you know, sexual offender for minors and whatnot, basically pedophile. And then I heard a story, which I'm not covering on button check because it's kind of new and it's really sensitive, man. It is some, yeah, it's some dark shit. But apparently a smasher, uh, known in the community has just got arrested and charged for killing his mother in their apartment. And I was like, what the fuck is happening? And like I said, I'm th that's not my story. I'm not covering it at all, but I read it all over uh, social media. It's, it appears to be going viral on Twitter right now. If you guys want to check that out, it's just, it's insane. It's sad. It's sad and insane all around when you see these cases, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you see it from individuals within the FGC. And I get it, man. It's like, at the end of the day, we're, we're gamers and we're FGC, but at the end of the day, we're all people and we all got our lives. You know what I'm saying? There's so many gamers in the community. We, at the end of the day, we really don't know what everybody's up to, you know what I'm saying, outside of gaming. We just hope and pray that the people that we make friends with, the people that we let into our uh, community or, or bring into our community and, and you know, make it grow that, that we're just good people and we want the same thing. There it is one more game. Definitely let me know how you guys are feeling. Thank you guys for rocking with the Butt Check News, becoming part of the family and just helping everything grow. We'll see you soon. If not tomorrow, definitely the next day. Love y'all forever. If you live within the States, if I don't see you by then, have a happy 4th of July. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. Like, fuck you, Goku! Oh. <laughs>